What's up out there, YouTube? This is Greg with Greg's Mowers More. Today we're working on more. Um, this is my wife and I's 2013 Nissan Altima. Working on the passenger door. We got these worthless little plastic door handles. As you can see, this one's busted. Um, so today we're going to work on replacing that. I haven't done one of these. They can't be too far. They're too difficult to do. So, um, just trying to get you guys some more videos to watch because I'm kind of running out of stuff to do, to be honest. Kind of work through most of my customer work. I'm not uh, not getting too into mowers right now with winter coming on. So anyway, we're just going to dive into this thing. Um, I got my new part here. I got it off Rock Auto. It wasn't cheap. It was like seven dollars. See, it's the same one. So we're going to try that. So I got a little bitty tiny flat blade pocket type screwdriver there's a little plate back in here and you got to kind of get behind it and it should pop out I'm trying not to break anything I gotta get up here in the corner maybe I know this comes out so I already had it out once looking at it here we go right. so that comes out 10 millimeter bolt there. I believe this piece here comes off too. Yeah. I'm just gonna cold out, so I want to treat it with kid gloves because these clips like to break. So that comes off 10 millimeter up in here. Bring you guys in here so you can see that. One right. Right in there, it's 10 millimeter. Let's see here, I believe this pops up and out. Looks like there's a little push clip right there. Yep. Okay. So the power window switch and everything's gonna come out. Flip it over, there's a little push tab right there, which my fingers are kind of big for, but there we go. Set that aside. There's another 10 millimeter right here. Hopefully you can see that. I believe this little piece has got to come off too. This one's got blind spot monitoring on it, so it's probably gonna have a plug behind it. might come off with the door panel. Let me go ahead and get these 10 millimeter screws out. We'll uh, keep going forward here. How's everybody doing out there in YouTube land today? I hope you guys are doing good. I'm shooting this video a few days before Thanksgiving. If you're in the U.S., you know, it's the holiday of giving thanks to the Lord for everything he's done for you. And uh, he's certainly been good to me and my family. I pray he's been good to yours. And if not, let me know. I can pray for that to change. Because praying moves the hand of God. I didn't know. So, but yeah, we've been... Uh, been real busy and real blessed there's been a lot of a lot of good things happen for us a lot of a lot of healing and a lot of new new things happening i uh put in for a different job the other day that i'm wondering if i'm gonna get it or not um if i do it's gonna be a lot more hours though okay so i think that's everything i think that's all three screws uh, i think this door panel's got to come off of here I usually have little clips underneath and around like that. You just pop it off. Oh, well, then it should just come. There we go. It slides up and over. Right. Now, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to show you guys this. Right. Excuse the wind noise, guys. It's 
wind's kind of picking up a little bit. Um, but anyway, we got these two cables that are coming into the coming into the handle here. What we're gonna do is gonna try to pop these out. You can see where it's broken right here. So I believe by looking at it, it should just pop out the side here. Could be wrong on that, but I don't know. Sorry if I'm in the way here. Should just be able to pry that thing out of there, I think. Just like that. Swivel the ball over, pull it up. That one's already broke. So we're just going to give him a little bit of prying action. Then he'll come out of there. stubborn. Don't want to come out of there too easy, do you guy? It should though. There it goes. Okay. So those are off. I'm trying to see how to get this light out of here. Light unplugged. I can't really tell. Maybe I can just kind of let that hang a little bit. I don't want to do that. I don't want to break that. Okay. So how does that light come out of there? Pop out of here. Maybe. Okay. Alright, so that just pops out and then hopefully. Yeah, there's a little connector there. Okay. You're not going to be able to reach that connector, I don't think, by uh, reaching on the door or reaching down there, unless you got little Japanese fingers. There we go. Pop that out. Put that over there. I'm just going to take my door panel and kind of spin it around here. Try to get you guys a better view. One, two, three screws. Busted handle. See right there where it broke. It's just cheap plastic. All right, let's get our new one. Okay. And we're gonna flop it over. You can see it's got little catches. So we're gonna go ahead and slide him in there. Get it back in those catches, I hope. There we go. Now it's in there. We put our three screws back in. Happy Gilmore. That guy tell me I just pulled landscaping duty. Everybody, turn up your volumes. Announcement. I got good news. We're extending arts and crafts time by four hours today. My fingers hurt. What's that? My fingers hurt. Oh, well, oh, now your back's going to hurt because you just pulled landscaping duty. Hmm. Anybody else's fingers hurt? I didn't think so. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, not in the dirt. Come on. Dang it. Boy, there's not much to these door panels on these newer cars, is there? This thing's pretty flimsy. Pretty darn flimsy. Alright. So, let's go ahead and flop her back over here. Pick it up. Shove this down through that hole there. 
when that light come out of. Plug our light back in. Which again is just kind of a chintzy looking little thing here. Oh, come on. Alright, there we are. Lights plugged back in. And we just kind of got to finagle that. And pop it back in its place here. Just like so. Alright, now we can flip our door panel back up a little bit. Start putting our stuff back in. It's going to go there. Down in the handle like that. You got your little pointy end down in there for your lock. Come on, get down in there. There we go. There's that. Alright, now we're going to kind of set this back up. Make sure your piece for your. Uh, power windows is back in and then we're going to try to line this back up set it back in the top channel here this piece here is kind of holding it I think hold this up I need to hold that up against the door there. There we go. Now. Now will you go where you need to go? Well, I guess now I'm trying to how does that kind of getting a little bit finagled here, you know. I know it's got to go down in that door tray. I know you got to go down in there. Where are you? Am I not up high enough? Now I'm dropping stuff. I wonder if I can unplug this. There we go. Okay. So I see it's got to sit in this rail here. I think I just got it. So let's make sure our little tabs are going to line up, and they are, and start tapping this back in. There we go. Okay, that's back on. Get a little blind spot indicator back in if we can get our ginormous man hands in there. I don't know though. This is kind of tight. They don't design these for Giant Sasquatches. Alright, so I gotta pull it back off because I just made a mistake. So we gotta come on back off a little bit because I can't get that connector in there and this piece has to go under the door panel I just saw. So be mindful of that when you're working on yours. Right. So now, pop that back in, and then this has got a kind of an angle, I guess. Some way, somehow. There, okay. Oh no, come on, get over it. Maybe you gotta pop that loose. Oh. Learning as we go here. Not a, not a professional type deal. You know, if you're watching me, you already know it's not a professional type deal. You already know that if you've seen the channel for any length of time. We use toothpaste for lapping in valves and all kinds of fun things. This is going to be good. Hey, hey, now we're getting somewhere. 
doggies. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Hey. Hey. So look, uh, I was way out of line and I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry about your dad. Thanks. So, cool beans. 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 beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. beans. Cool beans. Cool Cool beans. different just so you know just a couple of them are self tappers one of them is a fine thread almost like a machine screw so the machine screw one is going to start in there we got a machine screw that's going to go down here in the armrest then another one that's going to go up here in that cavity i showed you earlier enough to drop my 10 millimeter down in the door fence here. Got my drill set so it doesn't over torque and crack the door panel. There we go. There's those three. Put our window switch back in. Connections a little tug, make sure they seat it. And on this, you're going to line up this little tab here, but your front should probably go down first, like that. And then, there we go, that's clipped in. It's like puzzle pieces, you know. It's all about the puzzles. Alright, line your little clips up. Looks like it goes in the bottom first. It's got that aligning tab. That'll go like that. And then you can just pop her away. She's in there. Don't forget this. Oh, we got to remove our nice little saran wrap chrome protector here. You know, got to get all that off. I mean, it's really doing a lot to that plastic over chrome finish. My six dollar real chrome to rock auto. All right, let's put this guy back in. And of course, it's gonna not do what I want it to do. Kind of wedged in there somewhere I didn't want it to go. Pop it back out. Come here, little booger. Wow. What is your deal? Look at all the little positive marks on there. I give it a negative. Probably. I 
fuck. Why are you not doing the door panel thing? The smallest little piece is the worst one. Come on. You can do it, little guy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. That does not fit in there like it should. Don't get it. That should just slip right in there. There it went. Alright. Well, I guess the only thing left to do now is to see if it actually fixed it. See if it's going to work. Or if it's going to break the first time I use it. Well, that didn't go as planned. It didn't open the door. Door's locked. Oh boy, now we're in for some real fun. So apparently when I put the things on that door panel, something must have got bound up in the lock because now the door's locked and I can't get it back open. All right, I'm gonna go in there and try to figure this out. darn little plastic piece. As soon as I pulled the handle, it popped back out and got in the way of the lock. So we're going to have to figure that part out. Something's still not going on here. At least it's not a total failure. Darn little plastic pieces, I tell you. I don't understand why that didn't do what it was supposed to do. So it should just pop right in there. And I thought it did. Nope, it did it again. There must be some kind of little Japanese hand trick that I don't know about. Ooh, the wind's picking right up. Right out, doesn't want to go back in. Huh. tabs back there that are supposed to align this there's a piece that goes in here oh yep there it is right there I just found it back side of that busted when I took it apart that's why okay I'll have to go down to the junkyard and source one of those okay well I guess that's it for today it's as complete as I can make her so um, Really appreciating you guys taking the time to watch my videos and put up with my madness. 
me rambling and stuff, talking about the Lord, everything he's done for me. I hope and pray he's good to you too. I hope you know him. Because if you don't, you're going to go to a place you don't like when you die. I don't want that for anybody. Jesus loves you. died on the cross for your sins so that you might have eternal life with him. So uh, if you don't know Jesus, you should probably get to know him today. Ask him into your heart. Be Lord and Savior of your life like I've done. Um, he forgives you for all your sins, all the wrong things you've done that, you know, I don't know about you, but I mean, I got a lot of things that I've done that I regret. Um, I, mean, I had a bout with alcoholism for 10 years that pretty much robbed me of 10 years of real life for something that was fake, not real. Did a lot of hurt and damage to other people. Really regret that now, now that I'm, you know, going to be 40 here about a month. And uh, the further you go, the faster it goes, and the more you think about the things you've done and seen and been, and you just want to be better, you know. I try to be a little better every day. I don't always accomplish that, but that's why I need Jesus. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out some of my other content. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, have a great day, and God bless you.